Diabetic Friends. We're coming to you today with episode 7, testing products in a real way to see what works. Trying to find out the quickest way to raise blood sugars. I'm Chris Maynard with Glucose Revival. To recap, I've been a type 1 since the age of 22 and a firefighter EMT since I was 20 years old. So I've seen and experienced firsthand diabetics in the worst of conditions, experiencing the most common emergency hypoglycemia. You can find out more at GlucoseRevival.com, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Nocturnal hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, occurs while sleeping, is an important condition observed in approximately 50% of children with type 1, especially those below the age of 7. We have a medical alert necklace containing a solution that will take care of all levels of low blood sugar that will be available real soon. This being our seventh video means now we've tested over 21 different products. And some of you have maybe used others while you may while you may just be wondering what their effectiveness is. And that's why I'm dropping my blood sugar between 50 and 70 to evaluate what actually works. Today we're trying corn syrup. My blood sugar is at 64. One tablespoon gives us about the same carbs and sugars as all the other products. One tablespoon here is about 16 carbs, 16 sugars. If you don't mind sweet, you'll like it. So we'll get back to you in 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, now my blood sugar is at 76. So now we'll wait and finish the hour. Now that an hour has passed after taking corn syrup, my blood sugar is at 120. So I'm happy with those results, and now we'll move to the next one. Hey friends, the second video now that we're testing is a glucose control boost. Uh, it's a milk product, but this is the sole reason why we had to change our name for those that have been following us from glucose boost to glucose revival. So there's 16 carbs in it in one serving. Blood sugar was at 72, so now we'll wait and see. After 15 minutes, my blood sugar is now 70, and now we'll finish out the hour and get back. Now that an hour has passed, my blood sugar is at 76, so overall I'm disappointed, uh, but it is what it is and that's why we're doing it. So we'll get on to the next one. This morning my blood sugar is at 65. So today I'm gonna to try Dex4 with glucose. 15 carbs. Different than the one I did the other day. It tastes like medicine, not good. So we'll give it a try. for 15 minutes and my blood sugar is now at 61 so hopefully we'll figure it out someday but now we'll finish out the 45 minutes and see how it finishes out. Yeah, an hour has passed after taking liquid glucose Dex4. Um, my blood sugar is stabilized at 65 so no rise which surprised me. But today I want to focus on hypoglycemia unawareness because it's associated with three to six times higher risk for severe low blood sugar and is prevalent among 25 to 30% all type 1s. And it only increases as you're on insulin longer. So here's where we're at. I want each one of us to have something ready. So. If there's a product you want me to try for the next episode, message me, let me know. I'm Chris with Glucose Revival. We're 